football as the Russian national team flew out to Belfast last week to play Northern Ireland in the fifth game of their World Cup qualifying campaign. But heavy snow meant that two attempts to get the match underway were lost to the elements. Richard Van Portfleet documents a weekend of frustration for both Fabio Capello's men and their fans. There was much expectation as Russia took to the training field ahead of their World Cup qualifier with Northern Ireland. They were top of a group with a 100% record and hadn't conceded a goal in their four games so far. The trip to Belfast was going to be one of the toughest of the campaign. However, head coach Fabio Capello was more worried about the wind. And not uh, concerned for the pitch, I'm concerned for the wind. It's very difficult. More difficult the wind than the pitch. I hope tomorrow the wind uh, will be lower. However, the wind wasn't the only thing Capello should have been worried about. Heavy snow, which had been falling constantly for almost 24 hours in the Northern Irish capital, meant there was a race against time to get the pitch fit for this encounter. Well, the weather in Belfast has certainly taken a turn for the worse with some of the worst conditions at this time of year in living memory. Well, the teams will attempt to try and play again on Saturday, but with yet more snow expected, this time may have to be played at a later date. This was the first time a full international football match had been cancelled in Belfast, but given the circumstances, it was completely understandable. Well, the match was called off by the, the FIFA referees, obviously because the, the, the pitch was uh, unplayable. We're obviously very disappointed here at the Irish Football Association. We tried very hard, as you can see, to clear uh, a percentage of the pitch, but it obviously just uh, the referees didn't deem it uh, suitable for, for the game to go ahead. Plan B was to try and play the game a day later. However, the snow was unrelenting, and such a prospect looked distinctly unrealistic. Well, as you can quite clearly see, there's going to be absolutely no chance of any football whatsoever, as the pitch is under quite a few centimetres of snow. Well, talks are underway to try and hold the game either at the end of May or at the start of June. And even despite the fact that Russia didn't play, they still sit top of their group. Four points clear of their nearest rivals, Israel and Portugal, have both played a game more. The Windsor Park Stadium is a rather dated football venue and will soon be rebuilt from scratch. There is no undersaw heating, while even had the snow been cleared, the pitch would have been too waterlogged to even attempt to try and play a game of football. Well, it's been a very difficult trip for everyone, but the people who have suffered more the most have been the fans. So, how difficult a journey has it been for you? The weather's been awful. Yesterday we spent all day walking around the town as the game was called off and we were soaking wet. We're really surprised at the weather as we thought it would be around 15 to 17 degrees around this time of year. We heard the news that the match would go ahead after all, so we decided to come and check for ourselves. Our flight back home was probably due to take off when the match should have started. It's a pity the game didn't take place. It's been a frustrating trip for all concerned. However, Russia's fans will have a chance to return to Windsor Park in just over two months' time. And hopefully then, the snow will be long gone. Richard Van Portfleet, RT, Belfast, Northern Ireland.